We Thank should have you. some fun. Yes, we're going to have I lots of fun. I think the first thing we should do is uh, sort of tell the audience what's on the show today. Why don't you start? Okay. Well, Gary, millions of viewers were moved when Marley Matlin spoke her first words at this year's Oscars. We'll meet the woman who taught Marley and discover how she can help anyone speak more effectively. All this and more in today's edition. That's Monday's edition of Our Magazine. When we come back. <laughs> Oscar winner Marley Matlin made news when she spoke in public for the first time at the Academy Awards. It was terrific. And I don't think anyone was more proud than our next guest, who was very instrumental in helping her speak publicly. I keep getting feedback from people. Boy, she really does sound sexy. So <laughs> we've been working on that. <laughs> Now she's sharing her expertise so that everyone can speak more effectively in a new book called Talk to Win, Six Steps to a Successful Vocal Image. Please welcome Dr. Lillian Glass. How, how do you approach someone like Marley? Uh, that's got to be a very unique situation for you. How do, how do you approach her and get her to speak that well? And she does have a very sexy voice, but yeah. it's very deep. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Gary, what I did is I said, Marley, let's forget about your deafness. Let's just pretend you have an accent, a foreign accent. And I treated her just like I would treat anyone mm -hmm. that had an accent. And she did beautifully, yeah, just she beautifully. Really did. She really did now, beautifully. recently a Gallup poll, uh, the survey was done asking people what habits annoyed them most when people were speaking. And the answers are quite surprising, the results. They Let's are. go through them. Well, number one was interrupting. In fact, close to 88% of the people that we questioned hated people that interrupted. Number two was swearing. Even though we live in a society that's quite open and where people can say anything, people do object to people who use four-letter words, so it's something to really monitor. People who had a monotone, that was another problem. People who spoke in a very boring, mm -hmm. monotonous type of voice, that was very problematic. People who talked too loudly and really were... There's quote unquote obvious obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, people who mumbled a lot. Who mm -hmm. said, Excuse me, could you speak up? Could you speak up? People that you had to ask to repeat sounds right. to. We can do something about the first two ourselves yes. uh, <laughs> swearing and interrupting. But as far as speaking in a monotone or speaking too loudly, or, well, that, that we can do something too about it also. But mumbling, I think that we just get into habits and so forth. How do you attack? some of these problems. I mean, how do you give people inflection? How do you give their their voice a life? It's more than just asking them to put life in it. You have well, to deal with what? The diaphragm? And well, sure. What you said is, is, is just right. Putting life in people's mm -hmm. voice. Because when you say to somebody, I love you, you can say, yes, I love you. Or you can say, you know, I love you. And that means something completely yes. different when you draw out the vowels. And you're right. You do use your abdominal breathing. We teach people how to breathe properly, how to marry their breathing and their talking, how to open their jaws, how to flow out their tones so they could be heard and so their tones can be expressive and people can relate to them. All right, now, Vaughn is interested in a career in broadcasting and uh, voice is very important right. for them. I, I've, yeah. I've even, um, I've taken a, a few lessons, um, two short ones, in, in speech and I've noticed I really have a problem, a problem I wasn't aware of mm -hmm. before I started doing this. What? And I tend to talk very fast and, it's very, and once you notice the problem, you really mm -hmm. have to work at it. So who knows? Maybe. Does what she have promise? Does she have oh, promise, Lillian? Oh, Vaughn's great. Good. In fact, when you got all those <laughs> offers, you. and oh, you got all those offers from people saying, have you ever thought of broadcasting? Mm -hmm. The public loves you because they said to themselves, boy, this woman comes across confidently. She has great posture. Thank she you. has a deep voice. It's rich. And the only thing that I would do with you is just slow you down a little right. bit. Just take your breath in, right. hold it, flow well, you, you out. But you're doing beautifully. <laughs> just and I'm slow really, down. I got a week breath. Slow down. All right, let's give you another you. test. Okay. We have a... Uh, a wonderful person. Her name is Tilly. That's beautiful lady. Pardon me? 
Tilly, Tilly Miller? Come on in, Tilly. Tilly is uh, from New York via Delray Beach in Florida. Delray Beach, Florida. Now, that's funny because I'm from Florida. I'm from Miami, and I used to talk like this. And, of course, now the Miami accent is like this. You know, a lot of Cuban people live there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I never heard of the, New York, the uh, Miami accent being like yours. So, uh... Well, I was born in Brooklyn and uh, lived in the Bronx. Uh, 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 <laughs> and I, I feel I have a Brooklynese accent. I up when I speak. Mm -hmm. And... I would like, I try to correct myself. Mm -hmm. I listen to myself when I speak and try to speak slowly and correct myself, but I still, when I listen on a tape recorder, I hear the accent. And okay. Tilly is so much like so many people because, Gary, there are millions of people out there that hate the way they sound mm -hmm. on their phone answering machine and on the tape recorder. And what they need to do is, as, as we talked about, slow down. And w one of the things that you could do is to take that breath in before you answer the phone, hold it, and then let it out. Go, hello, how are you? Why don't you try it? Take a breath in. Okay, now, see, you just used your upper chest. Why don't you stick your wow. tummy out mm. as you take the breath in. Open your mouth. Okay, now, why don't you let the breath out. Now, take a breath in through your mouth. Hold it and go, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? I'll be right Pretty over. Pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> well, hopefully you can spend a little more time with, uh, with Lily and uh, Tilly. We've just run out of time for this segment. Thanks so much for being a volunteer. Dr. Glass, always a pleasure oh, to see you. you. You're wonderful and by the way, whoever did that survey with you being dull, they're wrong. That's you have the greatest Oh, well, we had a lot of fun with yeah. it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Our thanks to Dr. Glass, to Tilly. Uh, the book, of course, is Talking to Win. And we'll be right back.